Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So it's Thursday, and that only means one thing. There's been a patch. And as usual, we have some new blocks, and we have some new interesting features. So let's just check them out. So I've got a little bit of a ship here, and that's going to showcase a few of the features. But first, we're going to take it down to that platform there. So we'll turn the power on, press P, disengage landing gears, and fly on out of our large transport vessel. So this is just a small troop transport ship. And in the back is the block that we're going to be seeing. Now, this is a very welcome addition to the Space Engineers blocks, I have to say. It's been requested, and it is now finally here. So we're going to press K, open up the rear door. And I'm not going to spoil it at all until we get around the back. Now, it's of course a passenger seat block. Now, I've been waiting for something like this for ages, absolutely ages. Just look how cool that looks. Let's hop in the side and we go to a third person sort of perspective if we can. You can just see us sitting in the back there, just waiting to be dropped off. It looks so cool in so many boarding vessels and so, other, so many other ships. You can even do like a casual sort of passenger. So this is not just for small ships, it's also for large ships as well. So you can also have it in a different sort of position as a maybe a cockpit sort of style thing. But I think this looks really nice in the back of one of these sort of ships. So let's access that and let's seal up this door behind us just to have a bit of fun. Oh, terminal's apparently not connected, so that's no good. And we'll just sit in that seat as well. I don't know why, but it just it just seems so cool to be able to sit and not have a massive options panel. Just casually sit in there looks cool. Yeah, but that is going to be absolutely amazing for so many situations. Anyway, let's move on a little bit. So one of the new features that was added was the ability to copy and paste objects with rotors attached. And now this is almost as good as the chair block. You can see how the rotor block part, the door at the back, is attached. And as you can see, we've moved there and it's saved all our settings that we've set up. So I can literally go back to the front of the cockpit of this beast, press K, and reverse the door and then behind me you can see the door closing really simple now if you're a big fan of building sort of rotary turret sort of base vehicles and stuff this really comes in handy especially on like tank tank tracks tank turrets and things like that really pays off now moving on slightly we have new function added to the connectors and ejector blocks so we can now actually connect up manually to stations and other things just like a landing gear so this green ship here is a resource transport the same design as the other one but instead of having a troop carrying department it actually has an ore department in the back so let's activate the thrusters and we'll take it over to that docking port over there on the platform so it works really simply before you had to line it up yourself and aim it but now we have the ability to them to actually get close and use a bit of a magnet and it magnetically attracts to the other piece like so then all you have to do is accept the coupling between the two parts and now you're connected so I can access everything on that actual deck and the actual command post that I've got there and I can access it, I can access the refinery, refine my ore and so on I can even set this ejector to manually eject the object so we can also connect it up to this big ship here say for instance maybe this big ship's out of power and we've gone and landed on a small asteroid we've gathered some rocks and supplies now we need to actually refine that sort of equipment and material so i've moved the small green transport vehicle over to my large ship and we're going to transfer some supplies between them so we've got the connector here i'm going to reverse up connect that in place and then access the menus from the cockpit of this ship and then transfer over the items so it should be quite an easy process so we're reversing it up like so we're connecting them in place with p and now we can simply connect them across so hit the connector and we're just going to throw out like so. Well, we're not going to have it on collect all. We're just going to throw out like there. And what we're going to do now is access our inventory. And we can actually see where this item is going. So it's in a medium cargo container in our ship currently. So we need to throw that into our connector. That then should get rid of it. But for some reason it doesn't. So we might have to do this manually. We're going to manually move it over to the assembler on that ship. And now we should be able to produce some items. But to produce the items, we're going to have to head over to the other ship. So to head over there, we're just going to quickly write down one of these. So we can access through the menu and check out the production. So we now can produce a number of items. So let's produce a few toolboxes. 
and a few pipes like so. So you could have a, another crew member aboard the big ship and you would make an order and say, I need six pipes and I need two toolboxes, make them on the pronto. And then you'd, you'd be waiting in your ship here like so. You access your inventory and you're like, right, where are them pipes I ordered? Where's that gear I ordered? So then it's as simple as moving it back up into your medium cargo container pressing P to disconnect the ship and flying away and now you could continue building wherever you may be building you could be building over near the blue ship or whatever this connector system really comes into its own when you've got a transfer of ammunition into a ship maybe from a larger station maybe you're out of rockets you can simply zip on over resupply your ammunition or maybe you've got a ship that's now stranded because one of your not so bright crew members decided to fly it with a very limited amount of uranium so you can simply fly over there connect up and you basically got that vehicle resupplied and re-equipped now let's land this thing so I'm gonna bring this towards the ground and I think I'm just gonna dump it there for the moment now the next feature I actually wanted to show you was to do with the astronauts themselves so the astronauts have this new feature that allows them to change the color even further in detail you could say so if we access here we press the T key so we can now play with the actual color a lot more than the previous preset options so we can do some sort of nice huey sort of gray, gray greens make the saturation really low or we can bring it up really high and be really lime green so it's just a really nice add of detail onto that and hopefully we can customize the suits even further soon maybe get some camo schemes and other items on there i would like to thank you guys for watching and i would love to hear what you guys have got planned for this patch once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.